a lot of businesses have a common requirement of setting appointments through WhatsApp chatbot. But unfortunately, as of now, WhatsApp does not offer a date picker functionality. So for your rescue, we have created a node called Interactive Date Picker. This will easily allow you and give you the flexibility to offer your customers to pick a date and set an appointment instantly. Let's see how this works. So for this example, I've set up a basic chatbot and this chatbot is of a real estate company. We'll just quickly preview this. So this is a welcome message. The customer needs to pick between these three projects. Let's say he wants to pick Lux Tower. So when he picks Lux Tower, he's going to get a message like this. Some basic information about the project, payment plan, gallery. They will also want to add a new button called site visit. So we will just add a button here. We'll call this site visit. Now right after this, we want to give our customers the flexibility to pick a date. So for that, we need to go down into interactive. And here you can see the last node called interactive date picker. We'll drag it to our canvas and we'll connect site visit to this interactive date picker. Now here we can write pick from a date below. So when you scroll down, you see there's a button titled called choose a date. We'll let this be. Right below, we've got an option to choose the number of days we want to display in this list. So I will keep it at maximum, which is 10 days. And there are certain rules to display these dates. So let's just explore what these rules are. So when you click here, you have an option to select today and the future days. So today plus the nine future days could be added to the list or it could exclusively be future days. You can also add past days if you want. So this will include all the past days, all the previous days which have passed before today. Now this includes past and future days excluding today. So there, there could be certain cases where you don't want the customer to pick the current date. However, you want him to pick some of the past days and some of the future days. So it will take, uh, for example, uh, if you have selected 10 days here, so it's going to take five days from the past and five from the future. And there is the last option, which is past and future days, including today. So if you choose this, then it's going to take a few days from the past today and the upcoming few days. So for now, I will select future days and then you have an option to choose your working days. So let's say if you're working on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you have an off on, uh, let's say Saturday, but sa Sunday you're still working, so you can keep it on. And then you also have the ability to add a list of holidays. So I will add, let's say 25th December is Christmas and it's a holiday. And although it's falling on Monday, but you're not going to be available that day. So you can select this date and you can write the name of the holiday called and you can add a holiday this holiday has been added now if you scroll down below you've got a display format so there are multiple ways how you can display the date so i will choose the last format for now 31st october 23 so once i do this uh, then automatically this date will be picked and i can click on save user input value to save this uh, data with within the chatbot and i will create a new lead data field called appointment date and i'll hit on create once i do that then i will attach another message right below it and here i will say you have selected the appointment date and here i will print the appointment date now this this basic message node is a temporary node. We just want to quickly test this on WhatsApp if the whole setup is working or not. If it is working, then we will move on with the entire step-by-step -step booking process. I'll quickly mark this as an end node. I'll save this. Now let's go to WhatsApp. We will type in hello. We've got this message. Let's click on Lux Tower. 
let's click on site visit so let's click on choose a date so here you can see that today which is 24 December and tomorrow which is 25th December being a holiday it's not showing here and also if you notice carefully we are not working on Sundays so Sundays are also not showing here so let's say we want to choose 26th December let's hit enter so here you can see we've got the next message it's saving date although it's showing it in a very random format but don't worry about it it's saving it we'll, we'll also see how you can print it in a very nice and human friendly manner so let's go back to our chat flow now let's delete this node and we'll add another interactive node this time we'll take another list response and we'll connect it here so we will ask our customers choose a time slot for the meeting and we will give a label called choose time slot and then we would add list section pick a slot and we'll add more list items let's say we start our day at 11 a.m and a meeting could last for let's say one hour and then we can add more time slots here like this 12 pm to 1 pm then again 1 pm to 2 pm and let's add one more 2 pm to 3 pm and let's add one last one which is going to be 3 pm to 4 pm now we, we will save whatever the customer selects so he's got an option to choose a time slot you could definitely add more but we'll save this option whatever the customer is going to choose we'll save it here and we'll call it time slot and we'll hit create so this lead data field gets created now we want to take a confirmation from the customer if he's agreeing to choose this date and this particular time slot if he's happy then we'll go ahead and confirm it so uh, we'll add another interactive message right below we'll connect these nodes onto this message let's mention please confirm your details and we will book an appointment for you so let's write a few things here so we will write appointment date and appointment in the date we are going to use appointment date and for appointment time we are going to use this lead data field called we'll just use time slot okay so we've got this set up for what to connect it here so i'll just quickly connect this here now if i go down i can add a couple of buttons yes or i'll write please confirm and other one i could write make changes so if somebody clicks on make changes we will take him back to the date picker and he could change to another date in different time slot otherwise we will give him a confirmation message saying thanks we have confirmed your appointment all right so let's mark this as an endnote and let's go back to whatsapp and test this out we'll quickly save this first yeah now let's type a zero click on Lux Tower site visit choose a date I've chosen Wednesday choose a time slot 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. okay so we've got this message for confirmation we still have to fix this date format we'll just quickly do it in a minute 
but most of it looks okay so let's see what happens if i click please confirm all right so the appointment is confirmed now we'll quickly just fix this date so for that we have to read a bit of documentation so we'll go to easysocial.io and we'll go to resources and documentation and under the creating chatbot let's look at date formatting in conversations <clears throat> so we there is something called a date function so we have to use this date function here let's just copy this and come back to our interactive message <clears throat> and here let's just paste this text as it is so you can see it's turned green I'll quickly break this apart for you this date function will allow you to choose a particular format that you want to display this date in so if you scroll down on this documentation page so you would realize that there are a lot of abbreviations like for example D double D in capital so if you use this abbreviation it's going to print the date in this particular format so let's try this out so this is a good one so let's write double D in caps and we'll just give an enter here and let's save it let's go back to our whatsapp this time let's click on no let's write zero again lux tower site visit choose a date this time i'll choose sunday choose a time slot let's choose 3 to 4 pm and as you can see we've got the date in the correct date format date is 31st december 2023 and we did not remove this old date yet so it's still showing here but once we get rid of it right here the blue one we'll just delete it and we'll hit save and let's go back to whatsapp we'll we'll choose the time slot again let's say 2 to 3 pm and we'll send it so you can see our date format is also fixed once we click please confirm all right so now this works as we expected but you can really you know uh, take it to another level you can send your team reminders or intimation that somebody is um, you know booked an appointment so what you could do is you can go to automation and click on template scheduler and uh, you can let's just uh, when somebody clicks on confirm we'll just break this link for a bit we'll add template scheduler in between and what we will do is we will select to other numbers there's going to be a separate video for template scheduler so you can learn more about it in full detail so you can write a number here that you want to send out message to maybe you have a few people in your team whom you want to send out this appointment message so you can add multiple numbers here so i'll just add one for now and then you can choose a template message and then after you choose a template message you can choose a particular time when you want to select now is means as soon as somebody uh, clicks on confirm that means right after that time this template scheduler is going to get uh, kicked in and it's going to send a message one minute later so you can also choose your delay maybe you want to send it two hours later it's up to you okay so you can for i think keeping it one minute is ideal so that instantly you and your team members get a notification that somebody has set an appointment you can add up to five people here so as soon as somebody sends in a confirmation all of them will be informed right that minute so i'll save this right now and let's check it out again so zero to reset the conversation lux tower well site visit pick a date Hmm. Choose a time slot. So I'll hit confirm. Appointment is confirmed. 
and let's go to our chat menu just to see if we've got a scheduled message or not so as you can see this is the conversation that we're doing and this is a message that will be scheduled to me in a minute so let's assume i'm a team member so this message has been scheduled to me so after one minute i will get a confirmation that a person has booked an appointment and i should take care of it you can even build your chatbot in a manner that you capture your customers information like his name his phone number and more information if you want to and then you can while sending the template you can uh, you know if your template allows you could add multiple fields in there and that information can be sent throughout your team members so that they have a precise understanding as to who is taken the appointment and at what time i hope this video was informative and helpful and i'm sure you're going to be using this feature in your upcoming projects Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video.